Hey Chameleons, it's Tasha today and guess what? We are going to do a Coastal Scents look using the Matte 88 palette. So if you're looking for a fun look like this one here for the weekend, stay tuned and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. Well, I already did one eye for you, and this time I decided, as you saw the pictures, or I don't know if I've had the pictures showing before or after, but if you saw the pictures, um, I didn't have lashes. I wanted you to be able to see how this look could look without wearing false lashes. So, um, with that said, I did, um, at the end, I will be using NYX eyelashes. I haven't used these before, but they're the fabulous lashes. EL19, but that's what I have on. That's what I'll finish this look off with. But let's get started. The first thing I'm going to use is um, Smashbox's new lid primer. I'm just going to place just a few dots on my lid, just like so. Don't need a lot of this. And blend it all over my eyelid. As you can see, I probably don't have any nail polish on. I got bored of the pink, y'all. I found this really pretty green color from Maybelline that I probably sport for this weekend. So that's why my nails are pretty au naturel. And they're my nails. Don't wear falsies. They're mine. But anyway, <laughs> get that primer all over the lid just like so. Now, before we get started, what I am going to do so that the colors can pop from this Coastal Sense palette is actually use a jumbo pencil from NYX and it's called Milk. This is going to help that pink pop a lot. And I'm mainly just going to apply it in the inner corners of my eye, just like so. Okay, just put a few little dots on there, as you can see. And just take your finger and kind of blend it out. One thing I learned with using these NYX Jumbo Pencil, you really have to smudge it or blend it out with your fingers or a concealer brush. Because if it's on too thick, it will crease, even with a shadow base underneath, if it's too thick. That's with anything. So got the color on the lid. Now, the first thing I'm going to use is a 242 brush, just a flat brush from MAC, okay? And the color we're going to start with is this beautiful, it's like my favorite color in a Coastal Sense palette, but it's this pink here. Okay, so third from the bottom. And I'm going to really saturate the color on the brush, just like so. And then we're going to pat it on. See, I'm patting so we don't have a lot of fallout, okay? We're going to pat it to about three quarters of the way, okay? And then we're going to also blend it up to the crease for right now. Because later we're going to go ahead and add more shadows above the crease area of the eye. So you want to get it just like this, okay? And then I'm going to also go ahead and make sure we put some in the inner corners of the eye as well. Okay. So we have first shade number one. Next we're going to go ahead and um, use shade number two. And the color I'm going to use from here, the Coastal Scents again, is this beautiful blue right there. And I'm staying with the same brush. As you will notice for the first few shades in this look, I'm going to stick with the same brush. And we're going to pat it on the lash line and then move our way up. Don't worry about the lines, but we can always go back and blend them in. But for right now, we're just going to keep it just like so. It's nice to see the blue on there. The next color we're going to use is from, you can use the black that's in the Coastal Scents palette, which is the last one down here. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and use my black from Smashbox. I just think it's blacker. It's called Blackout, y'all. So it's my favorite black. But I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush and apply just in the outer corner of my eye and just kind of overlap it over the blue you want to also make sure you kind of wing it out in the corners just like so and then blend it to the blue so as you see it kind of looks kind of funky right now but now we're going to go and do the blending portion of this look so now you want to switch over. You don't want a big dome crease brush, kind of a uh, 
a more slender crease brush. This is Urban Decay's Karma Brush. And what I'm going to do now is start blending some of that color upward. So we're going to start in the inner corner of the eye and just start dragging some of that colors up just like so. And then I'm also going to start moving my way out. As you move your way out, just kind of blend it in little circular motions here. Okay, so we you're slowly seeing the color starting to move further up. But now we're going to go back in that Coastal Sense palette and grab more color and blend it upward. So again, we're going to use that pink, same pink we started off with before, and start in the inner corners of your eye and start blending it upward, just like so. So when you open your eye, you can start seeing that color kind of popping out. Okay, so blend it up. And then next, we are going to grab the blue from the Coastal Sense palette. And again, we're going to blend it slightly upward. Almost to, but not all the way to our brow bone. And don't worry that the pink is not up, so we can always go back and add more color, okay? And then we'll grab a Smashbox and do the same thing. So you got those colors up. up the way you want. What I would suggest to do is go back with that pink and kind of get the color to kind of follow in the same line above the crease area. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of that pink and move it upward. But once you have that, you basically have the look for this one. The only thing I would suggest going back doing is kind of making that blue pop just a little bit more on this area. So I'm going to grab that 242 brush again. And then I am going to grab a little bit more of that blue and kind of pat over so it's more vibrant. Just like so. And then what I will do again is grab a little bit more of that pink so I can kind of softly blend those two lines together so we don't have just the lines showing from one shade to the next shade. And same with this here. Just kind of blend those lines together. Now once you have that together, we can now go ahead and you want to go blend out the outer edges so you don't have this harsh line staying here. So again, I'm going to go back with that um, Karma brush and kind of blend it just a little bit. All the colors in a little circular motion. And then I'm going to uh, switch my brush to a Sephora, and this is just a 21 brush. And I'm going to grab this light fleshy tone from Coastal Sense again. It's the third one from the top on your, I guess this would be on your right hand side. And just grab a little bit of that color onto that brush here. And just start at the peak of your brow and blend it downward. Just so you kind of softly blend away those harsh edges. But once you've done that, you can go ahead and follow the same line along the lower lash line. I'm just going to grab me this shader brush from Sephora. It's a surrounded smudge brush. I'm going to take the black from Smashbox and go along the lower lash line just like that. So. I'm going to grab the blue from the Coastal Scents and work my way in, about three quarters of the way in. And then you can go ahead and take the pink and line from the inner way out. But that is pretty much the look. So stay tuned. What I'm going to do, because I'm noticing I'm running out of time. You, I, as you notice, I don't have any foundation on. So I'm going to clean up the shadows that did fall out, add my foundation, line my eye, and add the lashes. And I'll be right back. Hey, you guys. I'm back. And here's the final look. Have my lashes on. Those NYX, wow, they're long. So you might have to trim these. I have to tell you that. But what do you guys think? Um, I love this look. I mean, it's not grand, dramatic, almond garb, but it's a fun look for the weekend if you want a little punch of color with the pink and everything from the Coastal Scents. What I did do to finish off my look, I went ahead and applied my Revlon Color Stay drugstore brand that I'm using right now, and I will have a full um, review on this coming up shortly. I really like this one, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, for my cheek color, I use a Max Grand Duo, and it's the Love Rock. I love this one. It's the soft pink to add a little punch of color with the glow to it. I love that. And then I had to bring back Hello Kitty, y'all. Love Hello Kitty. But this is the um, Hello Kitty color, and it's called Big Bow. Love that for lip color. Just to add a punch of pink, it also even seems to me at least brightens up your teeth. So 
so hey well how about that and then i also use nice kitty lip gloss to finish off my look but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this look and if you want to see more definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel because there will be more looks coming up and also leave comments rate it let me know what you think if you want to see something better or if i could have done better let me know and then the last thing I could think of is make sure you follow me on Twitter. I am on Twitter, y'all. Twitter is fun. You can see what all the other YouTube gurus are doing. Um, celebrities are on there. But um, come follow me on Twitter and I'll follow you back. My Twitter um, a link I will post to the side. But it's just twitter.com backslash beauty chameleon. And um, I think I'm missing out on anything else. I think that is pretty much it, y'all. But again, thank you so much for watching my tutorial. And if you love it, definitely rate, comment, and subscribe. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.